not many Americans pay attention to Canada. The entire country could disappear and it wouldn't make the nightly news here. But we watch what's happening in Canada because it's fascinating. How could such a nice country become totalitarian so quickly? Are there lessons for us? Well, for example, a high school student in Canada has been arrested for declaring that men and women are different. Josh Alexander attended St. Joseph's High School, Catholic High School in Renfrew, Ontario. He was barred from school from the grounds for saying that God created two genders, because that's kind of a Christian precept and also common sense. When he showed up for class, police arrested him. You can see it on your screen right now. So we thought it'd be worth talking to him. And now we are. Josh Alexander and his lawyer, James Kitchen, join us. Thanks to you both for coming on. Josh, first to you. Um, you were arrested because you showed up on campus at a Catholic school for saying that men and women are different. Have we overstated that? No, that's exactly what happened. Um, there, was, there was a lot of steps that uh, it took to get to that point, but uh, female students complained to me and uh, they said they were concerned because males were using their washrooms. This turned into a debate at the school and uh, I stated my opinion on it and I used scripture to back that up and uh, they removed me from the building. Uh, for the remainder of the year, and when I attempted to attend class, I was arrested and charged. Did you point out that this is a Christian school and that this is like a core Christian idea because it's like in the Christian book, which some call the Bible? Yeah, absolutely. I, I actually tried to have that discussion with my uh, administrators, but they, they refused to do so. Uh, Mr. Kitchen, my, my apologies, by the way, uh, on what's happened to your, I think, great country. Um, What's your recourse legally in Canada? Well, it's limited, of course, um, because our constitution is much weaker um, and because there seems to be culturally uh, and legally much less respect for individual rights and freedoms and much more interest in um, you know, government having the kind of power to do what it wants. Um, but there is recourse to the, uh, the Ontario Human Rights Commission in this case. Um, we think there's been religious discrimination on the basis of Josh's Christian religious beliefs, so we're going to file a complaint to the Ontario Human Rights Commission. Um, and there is recourse through the board itself as far as appealing these disciplinary decisions, and we hope to explore that as well. I, I mean, Fidel Castro's son takes over your country, and all of a sudden it becomes Cuba? Like, I, it's just shocking. Josh, quickly to you. The police officers who arrested you, a high school student, for quoting the Bible in a Christian school, must have been ashamed of themselves, I would hope. Did they seem embarrassed? Um, I wouldn't say so. I've had a lot of experience with police over the last couple of years, uh, just through the Freedom Convoy and other events like that. And uh, the police state is quite embarrassing in our country. So, no, they, there was no different response from them. Uh, are you going to continue high school? Uh, I'm certainly going to try to. I would hope that my personal beliefs wouldn't uh, exclude me from uh, an education, but it would appear that's the way it's going to be. It's, it's an unbelievable story. I hope you'll both come back. Thank you. Josh Alexander, James Kitchen. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.